we've got shorts coming, so don't be late. Local trains and shunty freight, floods and crashes, heavy trains, flying high just like the plane. So let's get to work without a fuss, just like racing with 20 the bus. Hold on tight and join the ride, just in case you die. Hold on tight and join the ride, just in case you die. Hold on tight and join the ride, just in case you die. Conquering Gordon's Hill. You know I hate having to bring this up, but I need to get back to my home in time first. I guess we can make one little stop. What do you think? Yeah, we need to do so, so that you can publish the first Railway Series book. You know, I didn't think we could... Wait, I got a cheeky idea. You want to hear it out? Um, okay... When we drop off Reverend Audrey back home, we stop Mattel from killing you at crew. But didn't that happen before the Reverend Audrey went along with you? Oh yeah, that's right. Considering the fact we may have ended up creating a plot hole. Plot hole. Something that is inconsistent within the story or makes no sense being a thing at all. However, in this comedy series, characters just break the fourth wall or take a stab at anything controversial in modern day. To learn more about plot holes, watch some movies that don't make any sense. Alright now, where's some of that pizza I had earlier? Yeah, that was a good pizza place. Here. What? Oh my god, I'm still rolling! Okay, okay. All right, continue the story! Look, Gordon's Hill! Well, here we go again. Just like we did the first few times. Hold on, Thomas! Just in the nick of time. No need to thank us, and keep children's childhoods alive. Now before we go to the future, Thomas, I need to refuel. Okay, Gordon. Fifteen minutes late, Dale. Alright, I guess our work here is done. Time to head home. Exactly. And also the damage is done too from a towel. And also, I really did not get what they were talking about, that anti-steam thing I... Don't even really know what it is. Like, is, is that some? You know, if I'm being honest, I would probably care less. So, let's just go. Okay. Hang on a moment. Okay, I'm a little scared. It's a bit darker than usual. I don't think we could have encountered a storm. Really? You're feeling a little scared? And I bet the audience is disappointed in the Track to the Future production. I'm not talking to you. You keep watching. Well, here we go. I guess we can... Hey, wait a minute. Hey. Um, I don't think you're strong enough, Thomas. This is our only chance to get home. And remember, little engines can do big things. Come on, just a little more. Keep pushing. And don't forget what we've said years ago. United we stand, together we fall. You know, I kind of stand by more that the United were. I get what you mean, but... Oh. Huh. Come on, just pour sand on the rails for me. Oh no, I'm out of sand. Oh god, how can this get any worse? Do I still have sand? If so, I'll use that. Just do what you can, Thomas! I'm going to try! And push some more! I think it's working. Yep, it's working, alright. Almost there! Hey, we're speeding up! We made it over! Of course you did! Hold on to your coaches, we're going home! Well, Rosh, this leaves me no other choice than to close the Northwestern Railway. It was good having you as a Napford shunter. And... Hang on, sir. What's that?
I did not see that coming. What the? Chumish? A and Gordon? I... Sir, we have some news to tell you. We went on a time-traveling trip. We didn't know how, but we stopped Mattel again. Mattel. Should have known what they were going to do. But I'm surprised. You guys were gone for about more than one month. Oh, really? That? Uh, most of that's on our production. Just don't blame anyone. Or you will be working at the docks on Edwards Branch Line for the rest of the month. Oh, yeah, that, sir. Sorry. I, but... Even though there was a lot to deal with, I suffered the most horrifying death at crew. But Thomas, <laughs> he knew how to solve everything. Well, I must say, you two are really useful duos. Really? Yep, you two worked like a duo throughout that adventure. But you didn't even see it. Oh, whatever, I'll go rewatch it whenever I feel like it. Huh. <sighs> After that adventure, I feel like I should get an overhaul. All right, Gordon. I guess I can give you an overhaul after that amazing adventure you've had with Thomas. But don't worry. I'll find some other engine to pull the Express, and you'll be back to pulling it soon eventually. I don't know what eventually means, but it sounds very, very long. Yeah, but before I go, I'd just like to say a couple of apologies to some of the Napford Shunters. Ross, I would like to say I am sorry for looking down upon you all of these months. You're a really clever engine. And Philip, sorry for treating you like crap over the years as well. Wow. No one had ever called me clever before. I was always a rough engine in my young days. Real talk, though, I'm used to the engines treating me like crap. Over time, I just kind of grown to accept it. Also, we might as well have to overhaul Gordon's coaches, too. We use them and him as a time machine. Very, very clever. But, once Gordon is fixed, he'll have the express back, and you, Chamish, can go back to your branch line. Hang on, was it ever confirmed that I ever had a branch line? Did it look like we threw it out the window? Um, no. Then please do me a favor and get Gordon's coaches fixed. And yeah, 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 all that stuff too. Uh, have a good day, sir. Well, it's a good thing to see that my railway is back in order again. Call me or I. Wait, wait a minute. Who are you? What do you want? It's me, you fool. The headmaster. Um. How went the mission? Well, you see, I listened to your orders, was going to see what else I can do, and um, see if I could still have Thomas to make me some more merchandise. How about that? What? Don't you watch me? I need to make money off the little blue locomotive myself, but who cares about the rest of his characters? No, you fool. The mission was that you would be in charge of destroying Gordon by sending him and Thomas back in time, then kill Thomas when the time's right. But I... It was supposed to be phase one of the plan. And you dis... And you... You! You! Never mind. I'll 
said two more down. The sooner he's gone, the better. Then the stuff then the dimension you are in now will be destroyed. Along with every other dimension there is. What does that mean? It means you failed. Big time. But I didn't mean to fail, you class 08 fool! Actually, you're the fool. HOW AM I THE FOOL?! Because you do not take criticism very well. No, I don't! Well, what if I told you Big Will Big Adventures was awful? Oh, y y y y See? That's the point. But you've gotta be serious right now! Well, we are serious. In fact, why are we hiring you at all? It's pretty obvious that you aren't, uh, capable of taking care of Thomas yourself. So the best you can do is leave. Fine, I was going to leave anyway! My God! And by the way, this was the worst decision I ever made. Oh sure, blame anyone but yourself. Nevertheless, now that he's gone, we can come up with better plans to take over Sodor when the time comes.